I am Patrick Hamilton, pastor of Park Avenue Baptist Church. I am thankful that in the spring of 1998, as I walked down the hill from St. Andrew's Presbyterian Church, I met a 10-year-old named Maurice Talley. I knew Maurice from the Preston Taylor Metro Park Center, where I'd spent the previous school year hanging with kids and helping with their homework. Now I had found a location, St. Andrew's Presbyterian's Fellowship Hall, and I had volunteers coming for the summer. I needed to register children. Maurice was the one who led me door to door registering children for the first program of the newly formed Preston Taylor Ministries. He was my person of peace. He introduced me to mothers and children. His knock on the doors, smile, and vouching for me helped me launch PTM. I am thankful for Mar Maurice and everyone else God used to grow PTM into the vital ministry that it is today. I'm thankful for one of my former roommates, Bo, that he and I went on a prayer walk around the Preston Taylor community one day, and we ventured down a street we'd never been before. We went past a vacant lot, saw some little homes, and as we were walking, we saw this building look like a former little strip mall for sale by the Wilson Group. Well, Bo and I laid hands on that building, and we asked God that he would give that building to Preston Taylor Ministries, and he answered that prayer, yes. I am thankful that, that God has allowed me to continue to be a volunteer at Preston Taylor Ministries. Once a week, I have a devotional with the students. I just walk right upstairs from my office and love getting to know them over time and sharing God's word and hoping that it would shape their lives. One of my favorite events every year at PTM is the Calvin House Senior Banquet, where seniors are honored and celebrated for high school graduation and Volunteer staff and students gather to celebrate them. I think this event gives the clearest picture of the many people that are involved in each student's lives throughout their journey at PTM. Former lunchmate mentors, after school tutors, breakfast and Bible study mentors, running buddies, and this vision of tables full surrounding each student is the dream that we have for each student at PTM. Last May, the room was packed. People even had to pull up chairs to tables to fit around the student that they were recognizing because there were so many different people representing their journey. And that is the hope that we have for every student who walks through the doors of PTM. I was standing in line at the city clerk's office praying that I had all of the right documents to get the PTM buses tag renewed. So I get up in line and I hand the lady my papers and she says Preston Taylor that's a that's a rough neighborhood hearing her say that I thought for a moment and then I said to her I said it might be a rough neighborhood but every day I see it getting better my name is Kelly and my time with Preston Taylor began this past August I met a volunteer named Shelly the first night she stuck out to me because she said she had come back after a school requirement and I remember wondering, why return? Junior high students aren't easy. Quickly I learned that it was because these junior high students fill your cup as much, if not more, than we do in pouring into them. It's weird how God calls us as believers to give, yet when we give, he somehow fills us up even more. So despite the sass and craziness of junior high, I realized every week I show up to love and support these students, but then I get filled up more, which then allows me to return the next week with more love to pour out on the students. This makes me think of the scripture from 2 Corinthians 9 that says, Remember this, whoever sows sparingly will also reap sparingly, and whoever sows generously will also reap generously. Each of you should give what you've decided in your heart to give, not reluctantly or under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. And God is able to bless you abundantly so that in all things at all times, having all that you need, you will abound in every good work. So I encourage people that whatever the Lord has given you, gifts, life experiences, money, give those to others, and then this cool thing will happen. God will give you so much more. The other day, someone asked me if I could have any other job at PTM, what would it be? And I said a volunteer, because I just think the volunteers are really held in such esteem in the kids' eyes. I mean, I remember one day I was getting ready for our Dance for Fitness group, and I was telling the girls that we were going to have a volunteer come, come that day, and her name was Miss Margaret and that she was so excited to come. And I thought the girls would all be like, yay, we're so excited. But instead, the first thing they said was, 
is this a one-time thing or is she going to stay with us? And just hearing that like reminded me that these students see the, the volunteers as hopefully a person that's going to stay in their lives and they want them to stay. And I mean, the, the volunteers just have such a a passion and a drive for being with, with our children. Um, one morning, um, in preparation for our breakfast and Bible study, I went to pick up some college students who wanted to, you know, to volunteer. And it was like 6.30 in the morning and they were running to my car. And it just showed me how eager they were to be with our kids and to be a part of the mission of PTM. And some mornings it's hard for me to get, to get out of bed. So I was just thankful to be reminded of that. And I'm incredibly thankful for all the volunteers who work so hard and give so much of their heart and their love to our students.